Hi everybody! So for this video here I just thought I'd do a tiny haul of a couple of bits that I've bought from Boots again. I've already done a haul of things that I've bought from Boots and New Look earlier on in the week but I actually went to Boots again yesterday to get a couple of bits so I thought I'd just show you them. Um, as you remember seeing from my previous video I did buy one of the Revlon lip butters in the colour of Sweet Tart which was this one here which is a bright pink and actually I had this on last night I don't know if you can see that I had this on last night and it is much brighter than what you think it will be from the tube and even when you swatch it on your hands so it is a really nice colour for going out with so following that I decided to go back into Boots and pick up another lip butter because I'm really impressed with how they feel on your lips and they really hydrate them so I thought I would pick one up and this time I got this one here which is called it's number 095 creme brulee and I have I've actually got this on at the moment but I've been wearing this today, today. And as you can see it's like a creamy creamy nude colour so like almost like a pale toffee colour so I'll just swatch that on there I don't know if you can see that in my hand. They smell really nice as well. This one, it has like a toffee, like cocoa butter smell to it. Um, which is not overpowering when you actually put it on your lips. So I'll just I'll put a bit on now. It's not really that overpowering when you put it on your lips. But it, it just smells absolutely gorgeous. So I really like them. And for £8, like I said in my previous video, they're not that expensive although for what you would call a drugstore product you know eight pound you might think mm, for a lipstick but they are really good and they're very sheer as well even though they do give you quite a lot of coverage they are very sheer so very would really recommend them and then I also picked up because again the three for two offers still on on makeup products so I thought obviously while I was there I might as well get three 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 things for my money basically so I also picked up, I really fancied having, because I tend to wear either coal eye pencil or a gel eyeliner, but I fancied trying a, um, a liquid eyeliner, because I haven't really used liquid eyeliner for years, because I'm not really that keen on it, but I thought, oh, um, see what there was around and, you know, if it wasn't that expensive it wouldn't really matter if I wasn't keen on it. So I ended up picking up this. Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner in 001 100% black and as you can see it's not got a really thin um, one of those really thin brushes it's quite a thick quite a thick brush there but I, I again I used this last night and it's really easy to use and it's quite obviously jet black so it's really good and I think this was and it was under under five pounds for that so that's really good for doing a nice cat flick eye flick if you want to do an eye flick on your eyes and then I also picked up this number seven which is called vital enlightening highlight highlight powder and this is a limited edition packaging now I don't often buy number seven well I rarely buy number seven products I have got one of their foundations but I have gone off it it's it's um, it's one of those things where I really loved it when I bought it and then the more I used it wasn't that keen on it so I haven't been using that recently but I've been wanting a highlighter for the tops of my cheeks and this one I did see it when I was first in Boots buying um, my original mini haul stuff and um, but there was no price on it so I was looking at it and, I, and I've seen it before even before then and looked at it and ummed and over it and I thought mm, it's quite nice and the texture's really nice but there was no price with it and couldn't decide whether I wanted to get it or not but I do absolutely adore the packaging it's quite quite funky little packaging but I did see it and it was £6.50 when I looked and they did have the the price for it and it's there and it's like all raised embossed powder and it's like quite a nice like almost rose rosy 
rosy gold, but a very pale rose. Very pale rose gold. I don't know if you can see that on there. Um, colour. I haven't tried it on my cheeks yet, but obviously swatching it on my on my hand looks really nice and soft. So it's not like a mega bright highlighter. It just gives you that nice little bit of sheen and definition on your cheekbones. So I'm really looking forward to trying that. So I'm going to give that a go and let you all know what I think. Um, and obviously, like I say, the packaging is really cute. So I do like the packaging. And number seven, like I say, it's not not something that I um, buy at all really. But I haven't really seen a product like this that I've really liked. Um, other than obviously the more expensive browns such as the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick and things like that. But I've not really seen a drugstore product that when I've like swatched it on my hand I thought oh that's really soft and shiny and gives you a nice... Because sometimes they're quite harsh or they, they tend to be too thick. So they don't give you that nice sheen. But whereas this one, when I saw it, I thought, mm, that's quite quite good. And it reminds me of the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick, but obviously at a fraction of the price because it's under £10. And obviously because it was on three for two, I think these worked out at something like £12 for the three of them. So very good, very good bag and haul really, when you think about it. So I'm going to try them out. Obviously I've already tried out the lip butter. Lip butter, even, and um, thought it was really good, so I do like them. And two different types of colours that I've got now. I was looking for a corally colour, but they don't. Well, I didn't really see that they had a coral one. The one that was closest to a coral, coral was actually a bright orange, and I wasn't too sure about it from my skin tone. But it might be something that I invest in later on, anyway. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with those two purchases, so anyway. I will go away and I will try them out and I will let you know what I think. So anyway, see you all later. Bye.